What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to install Android Marshmallow on Yu Eureka. So for that you need to download these files. Let me show you the links. You can also find all these links in the description box down below. Now install PDNet drivers. Open the setup. Then hit next and accept all the agreement and continue the installation. If you see this kind of warning just select yes to reinstall the drivers and please don't press no. Then select others and press ok. Click install and then skip ADB. After the installation finishes just select OK and then press finish. Now we should go back and connect the phone to the PC to transfer some files. But first let me show you that I am running Android Lollipop at this time. So you can see it's Android 5.0.2 and now we can connect. Now let's transfer the files. So you have to copy CM13 and GFs. You don't have to extract the files, copy them as they were. Please make sure that you are copying all the files in the external storage of your phone, as all the internal storage will be formatted. Jumping up on your phone, you have to go about settings, then open about device and then tap the build number 7 times. Now go back and select the developer options, check the advanced reboot system and uncheck the update cyanogen recovery. And at last, enable the Android USB debugging. Now you can see that you are connected with USB debugging enabled. Now reconnect your device. And then select reboot and select the bootloader. Now your phone is in password mode and you have to install the TWRP recovery. So go ahead to TWRP folder and then open the unlock bootloader and press volume up key to continue. Be sure that all your data will be formatted. Now open flash twrp.bat. Flashing part is done and now is the time to flash the room. 
so just disconnect the phone then hold volume up key volume down key and power key simultaneously to open the recovery mode in recovery swipe this bar to allow modifications then hit wipe and swipe to factory reset after it's done go back and back and then hit install select your external SD card and then navigate to CM13 ROM that you have placed earlier in your external card then select add more zips and select benzo g apps then swipe to confirm the flash Your phone might get locked so just press power key and then swipe the bar to unlock it. Ok so the ROM has been installed and now we can restart the system. First boot will take time so be patient about that. The phone has been booted and now let me set up the ROM. Ok so now have a quick glance at the ROM. You can also install Google Launcher to get stock Android experience. The only problem that I found with this ROM is that uh, 3G is not supported with mobile data. You can use Wi-Fi for high uh, speed internet but 3G is not supported. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more videos like this.